Hi friends, and welcome to Tiny Technical Tutorials, where we do bite-sized lessons for today's tech. In this video, I'm going to show you five Microsoft Word hacks to make you more productive. Here we have a Word document. I downloaded this from online, and we'll be working in this to show you the different hacks. The first hack I want to show you is auto text. Let's say you have a common phrase or disclaimer or something that you need to use over and over again in your Word documents. Well, there's an easy way to do that that doesn't require copying and pasting. Let's go down to the bottom of this document, and here we've got a signature block, which is fine as far as signature blocks go. But let's say that you're a property management company and you have your own signature block that you want to use with all of your information. Let me just paste that in. So this is one that I created earlier. This is actually a table that has some of the information filled in already for landlord, and then over on the right you've got the tenant information. Let's say you have a lot of different documents where you need to use this signature block and you don't want to copy and paste from document to document. So what you can do, if you come up to Insert, then over here to Quick Parts, Auto Text, and then you'll save selection to the Auto Text Gallery. So you first need to save it and then you can use it in future documents. So we'll save this. We'll call it Signature Block. It goes in the Auto Text Gallery. We'll save it in normal.dotm, which means in any new document that you bring up that'll be available. And we'll say OK. All right, now I'm going to delete this. Let's just pretend that we hadn't inserted this in the first place. And then we're back to just our standard signature block from the template. All you need to do now is back up on the Insert tab, come up to Quick Parts, Auto Text, and now we've got Signature Block. There you go. You could delete this one that you don't want to use here. Okay, let's talk about the second hack. I'll go up to the top of our document here. If you really want to become a pro in Microsoft Word, I would say one of the most important things you can do is show formatting in your document. Let's see why that's important. You see up here that we've got a few things that are misaligned, and maybe you're in here trying to figure out, you know, why can't we align these things? You add some spaces, or you try to take some things out. Over here we've got spaces as well, and you're trying to get things to line up. Maybe you put a tab in, and well, that doesn't quite look right. Uh, the spacing down here is a little bit different than the spacing up here and so forth. Maybe you try different tabs, but those aren't quite lining up. So to make this really easy, what you want to do is come to your Home tab and then click this little button right here to show, hide, paragraph marks, and other formatting. Some people find this a little bit much, seeing all of the hidden formatting, but I personally can't work without it sometimes. And this will show you why things are all out of alignment. You'll see that we've got tabs used, we've got a tab here, the little arrow, We've got a lot of different spaces used. Here you'll see the spaces, though, are a size 11 Arial, and these here are size 14. So even if you're trying to align things using spaces, if the spaces are different size, they're never going to align. We've got a soft return here versus a hard carriage return here. We've got tabs that aren't even used. You could get rid of those. This has a couple spaces in front of it. These carriage returns are a different size. You'll see those are a size 2 Arial as compared to this. So your lines are never going to be exactly the same. So this is kind of a mess, and you can clean it up if you can see this stuff. One thing I generally like to do is get rid of all the spaces. The tabs are going to give you that nice clean alignment. So we can get rid of these spaces right here, and instead we'll use a tab, which should make it line up here if we get rid of those spaces. That tab is nice and aligned. Get rid of these spaces here, and you can tab, and so on. There's quite a bit of cleanup we need to do here, but being able to see what's going on behind the scenes is the first step. You can get rid of these extra carriage returns here, and everything's just a lot easier. Here you can get rid of your spaces and use a tab, and so on. I won't go through all the cleanup required here. Really the tip is to be able to see that formatting so you can easily get things the way you like them. One final thing to point out on this formatting tab, let me go back to the bottom of the document again to make this clear. The paragraph marker holds the formatting for the entire line. So this one is using a red font, italics, bold, Arial 8, for instance. And what that means is if you are at the end of this line and you hit Enter, that actually carries down to the next lines as well. So if you started typing here, you're going to get exactly the same formatting because that paragraph marker is holding it from that previous line. If you don't want that, what you could do for example, is to copy a different paragraph marker here, and that's carrying over a left alignment, black text, and so on. And then you've got the regular formatting there that you might want. 
So just be aware of that. If you hit the Enter key, it's going to carry down the formatting from the previous line. OK, hack number three. Let me scroll up again to the top of the document. Let's say that there's some kind of formatting that you want to apply to certain things in the document. I'll just choose something random here. Maybe the security deposit's really important, so you want to make this a red font and a yellow highlight, something like that. Let's say over here you want to highlight this as well. Just kind of choosing random things, but you can imagine. So different things in the document you want to apply this formatting to. And you can manually do that like we just did. You might also know about the Format Painter, though. So the Format Painter, if you select something here, come up to Format Painter, this basically allows you to paint that format onto something else. You might already know about that, but the tip here is that if you double-click the Format Painter, then you can apply it multiple times without having to go back and click that Format Painter button. I find I use that one all the time. For some reason, I need to always format multiple things, and so that double click will save you a lot of time. OK, moving on to our next hack. This one also has to do with formatting. Let's say that you want to have some kind of special style here for your title, your heading. Maybe for this, we want to go with something kind of crazy. We'll go with a blue outline. We'll change this to some kind of a serif font, Bakersville old face, let's say. We'll change the size to 24, some style that we might want to reuse in other areas. It's actually really easy to save this as your own style. Just come up here under the Styles tab, say Create a Style. And this one we'll call Lease Heading, let's say. OK. And then maybe as you're working in the document, at some point you need to add an appendix. So let's say we want a new page here, and I'll just hit Control enter to enter that page break. And then this one we're going to call Appendix. Like we talked about before, that style is getting carried down from the line above. But really easily, we could apply that lease heading style right up here. You'll see that that got saved. Just like that, with the click of a button. So that's another handy tip if you've got a special style, maybe it aligns to your company brand, for example, and you need to apply it. You don't want to manually do it everywhere. OK, our final tip is also one that I use a lot, which is to get to your page layout. You might know that page layout is for things like your margins, working with your different sections and whatnot. And you can always get there if you come up to the Layout tab. And here you'll see you've got the margins, orientation, and so forth. And maybe that works for you. I personally, though, like to be able to see everything in the dialog that we used to get in older versions of Word right here, the Page Setup dialog, where you can just easily go through here and do what you want. So you can get there from that arrow, but you can also easily get there just by double clicking on your ruler over here, and that'll take you to this dialog all in one spot. So it might seem like a small thing, but I personally am in the page setup a lot, and so having that double click ability to just open it right up is super handy. If you don't have the ruler open, you can always come up here to view and make sure that ruler is clicked right here. So I just deselected it, and if you select it, it'll show up here on your pages as you have them selected. And there you have it, five Microsoft Word hacks to make you more productive. If you found this content valuable, we always appreciate the likes, subscribes, and shares.